Hello, I am AC, and I'm the one who looks after the monarchs on Connerty Meadows Farm. Today, I'm going to show you how I look after them in my little enclosure. So, what I'm going to first do is these leaves are really dry, and they're not going to eat them, and it's not healthy for them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that leaf, set it aside so I can get rid of it. And I've picked these fresh leaves, freshly from the plant. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this with water. It still has water since that one died really quickly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rip this. If you want, you can use scissors to make it easier. And if you snap this, it's OK. But what you want to do, if you accidentally stop, snap it, you want to snap it all the way off and put the leaves a bit more up. I'm going to shove that in there. And if you don't have these handy little flower things, what you can do is wet some paper towel, squeeze it out so it's moist but not dripping wet, and then wrap it around the bottom so it'll stay moist longer. These guys are at the stage that you can touch them and handle them. Because you want it, the smaller ones, you want to rip around them so you don't touch them because you holding them could hurt them. So I just grab them gently. And they have a web. When you grab them, you'll feel they have a web. You place them on the leaf and you wait till he's all spreaded out. You don't want to put him like on into back into the cup when he's curled up because that will not work. So he's ready, so I'm gonna set him aside. I'm gonna grab another leaf. You can use scissors, you can cut. You just wanna so if you turn it to back, you can see right here, you wanna cut along that or you rip, whatever you feel more most comfortable with. And since he's spread out now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take him. I'm going to put them in the cup like that so they have some room. And if you don't see your monarchs when you wake up in the morning, they're most likely underneath the leaf because that's where they like to hang out. So put that in there and put it up there. And he is ready to go. Right now I have five chrysalises. So the first two are down here. And why I have, so this is the first one right here. And why I have this one is it made it on the leaf and the leaf would eventually dry up. So I had to take it off the leaf and put it into two metal clothespins. And then this one over here, it looks like it's on the leaf and it actually is on the clothespins. It was on, its web was right over where this guy is and it was almost falling off, so I had to move that guy. But all those guys look good. You're probably wondering, what is this dude doing? Right now, he is looking for someone to put his chrysalis, which is behind right there. So he is looking for the right spot to hang his web and go on a J-hang. Sometimes you will find that your chrysalis has fallen off and um, butterflies can't hatch very well with chrysalis on the ground. So we'll show you how we fix a problem. Stick and glue gun. I'm just going to add a little dollop of glue and then you'll see on the top here there's a little black dot a little stick almost. And we are just gonna pop that into the glue gently and carefully. We're gonna hold it there until it dries. This doesn't take very long. We're gonna be very careful not to get the hot glue on the green part. 
then this little guy can be hung up or strung up or as we sometimes do we'll just put it in a cup and then it can hatch so there you go that's all it takes that is the full jhag beside a chrysalis Here we go from a caterpillar to a chrysalis. pillar going into a j-hang we have one over here looking for a good place and today one of our butterflies is probably going to emerge so what happens just before they hatch or emerge is you can actually see the wing color Today I saw and I had a monarch down here. She's already pumped, or he, I can't tell quite yet because you have to have their wings open to see. And we also have a jay hang. So right now he's curled up a bit more than normal just so he's hanging on because we've been moving the area he's in. But oh. Yeah, I need it up. 
Okay, so this is a girl. So how you tell is boys have dots down there. They have one on each side. The two arrows are pointing to the dots that we refer to to know it's a male. And that's how you tell if it's a boy. And you can see generally right there if it's like a boy or girl, but the dots are mainly on this side. She's just arrived. This is her chrysalis here. That's normal. It'll turn white once they hatch out. So. She's already pumped, so when she comes out, right here is very fat and her wings are very, very small. And what she does is she pumps, oh, well apparently she's thinking she's ready, but not quite yet. She's not dry enough. Annie. So we're just gonna keep her in for another hour or so, just so she can get used to flying because we don't want the birds to swoop down and get her. So I'm just putting her on the top and she can hold on and flap her wings. That's just getting her so she is like drying off. In our next video on monarchs we will show you how we tag and release these butterflies that we raise here on Connerty Meadows Farm. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you next time on the farm.